okay hello and welcome to another section in further mathematics in this section we'll be looking at um the circles and equations of a circle equation of a circle but before that let us review the previous lesson okay welcome back now in our previous lesson we did justice to um the rules in finding the equations of the circle we stated clearly that equation of a circle can be written in this form x minus a square plus um y minus b all square equals r square this was gotten from the pythagoras theorem we stated it in our in our previous um lesson now today we want to go into um using this very equation to solve in the equations of a circle if a question arises in this nature now let's do um question number one find the equation of a circle with center find the equation of a circle with center with center 3 and minus 2 and radius and radius 4 units the radius is 4 units now um, before I told us um, in our lessons that each time you want to solve a question the first step is for you to always extract the parameters that is being needed you extract it from the question and it always serves as a guideline into what you are about embarking on now uh, we've been given an instruction here that the center of the circle is 3 and minus 2 so with that the value of our a is equals the value of a is equal um 3 and b is equal minus 2 while that of r is equals 4 in units from the question now let's clearly state the equation of a circle okay we already have it here in front of us so we have this is the equation of a circle um x minus a square plus y minus b all square equals r square now um, let's start substituting the let's start substituting the the numbers for a and b a b and r into the equation so it now becomes x minus three all square plus y you now have minus minus two minus minus two which is equals r square so with this we have x minus three all squared plus y you know when you have minus times minus it becomes plus so you now have y m um, y plus two equals um four square now i told us um, if, whenever you want to perform um expansion that um whose power is raised to the power two three four and five um, we did something on Pascal's triangle so that to avoid the stress in trying to perform the expansion. And I said Pascal triangle is of this nature: one, one, two, one, one, three. You add this to three, you add this to three, and you end it with one. Continuously, the fourth line becomes one. One plus this four, six, four, and one. So this is a Pascal triangle. Now let's deal with expansion of this point. So this becomes, according to Pascal triangles, we now have x squared two times this, okay, minus 6x, okay, plus 9, that is 3 squared. Then um, the same thing applies here, we have y squared, okay, this becomes plus 4y plus 4 equals 4 squared is 16 equals 16 so let's continue bring the x and the y term together we now have x squared plus y squared um x squared plus y squared minus 6x then plus 4y plus 4y then 
plus 9 plus 4 then minus 16 equals 0 uh, let's continue with um, this let's continue from this point we then have x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y then 9 plus 6 is 13 13 minus 16 is minus 3 minus 3 equals 0 so the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. I think we've done justice to this particular question. So if um, this, the equation of a circle whose centers are, my, are 3 and minus 2 with radius 4 unit is equals um, x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. Now I'd like us to increase our familiarity with such questions. So let's go into solving another question. Let's take um, question number two. Okay, let's look for this. Um, find the center. At this point, we are looking for both the center and the radius of a circle whose equation is x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 3 equals 0. Now we want to find the center and radius of such circle. Now um, remember we want to find uh, something of this nature then the first thing you have to do is to state your formula that x n minus 1 you just keep it at a point now let's go into details of what we have in front of us we now have uh, this becomes x squared minus 6x plus y squared y squared plus 4y equals 3 so we have it in this nature so after this we use um applying applying method applying the method of completing the square completing the square if you apply method of completing the square the equation becomes x squared minus 6x now if you want to do completing the square you add half the square of this so 6 half is 3 square is 9 so you do plus 9 plus y square plus 4y then half the square of this is plus 4 which is equal 3 now let's take um let's i want us to convert it into a simple equation but you added 9 here and 4 so you do same here plus 9 plus 4 so the next thing we have to do here is uh, we we take it into a simple equation by writing x minus um, 3 all squared plus y plus 2 all squared equals 16 now you've seen that this very equation have taken the shape of a circle that says x minus a over 2 plus y minus b over 2 equals r square. Now let's start making a comparison. We state that r square is equals 16 if you compare these two equations. So the value of our r becomes the square root of 16 which is equal to 4. So the value of our r is 4. Then from here we have it that from equation one um x minus three is equal to x minus a so a is equal to three and this other one 
y plus 2. So bring the y term here, it becomes y minus b minus y equals 2. So minus y goes here, so minus b is equal to, so b will be equal to minus 2. So the center of the circle is now um, 3 and minus 2. 3 and minus 2 with radius r equals 4. I think this is a very good um, justice that we've done to this topic, but I would like to say a very big thank you for joining us in this lesson. Now, in order for you to refresh your memory on what we've just discussed, I will advise you to take the test that will be appearing shortly on your screen. I would also wish you do well to use the lesson notes on the platform for a better information on the topic we've just discussed. Thank you.